Master Your Mindset Radio, Episode 41. Welcome to Master Your Mindset Radio, the show where we empower you to conquer limiting beliefs and transform your world with your gifting and purpose. Now for your host, Elizabeth Nader. Hey friends, welcome back to another episode. Very happy to have you here. I'm recording this episode a few days after the tragic death of George Floyd and a lot of pain is happening in this country right now. A lot of confusion, a lot of emotion, a lot of anger, so much going on, and so many voices talking about it. So I'm not going to add my voice to that fray because frankly, I think too many people are talking and not enough people are listening. I would, however, like to share one thing with you, and it's going to be short, very short, but it's a word that keeps coming to my heart every time I look at the news coverage of what's going on and what's happening in our country and I see the faces of people who are in pain. And that word that keeps coming to me is hopelessness. What does it feel like to have hopelessness? That is a very painful place to be. When you are hopeless, it's as though nothing matters. Hopelessness says to you that your circumstances will never change. Hopelessness says to you that it doesn't matter what you do, that things won't be any different. Why bother? Why try? Nothing's going to be different than yesterday. I'll never be happy. My situation won't improve. Just give up. Hopelessness is a tough emotion. When we lose hope, we lose a sense of our future and we lose a sense of purpose. So I just want to say a few very short things to you today. If you are someone who struggles with hopelessness, one thing I do want you to know is it is possible that hopelessness is a lie. In other words, you should challenge yourself Is what you're believing about a situation actually true? Are you willing to consider that you could doubt your hopelessness? Are you willing to entertain the idea that you could be wrong about it rather than just embrace it? So I think we need to start with that, try to look at things from a standpoint of truth and a standpoint of what's really going on in our life. But a few other things that may help when you are feeling hopelessness. You know, hopelessness says, I can't change anything. It's all just bad. Everything is difficult. And it's this all or nothing mentality. It's a very polarizing feeling when you feel hopeless. So another thing that you may do is move the goal line, change the goal. If you feel like you can't change anything, that it's beyond you to change anything, maybe you should make a small goal move the goal line to a place where you can actually make a difference, whatever that looks like for you in your situation, that you don't have to feel this overwhelming sense that you can't make all these big things happen, that you're not going to change anything. And whether that's your circumstances that have told you to be hopeless or you were brought up in an environment of hopelessness, if you move the goal line and you put in front of you small things that you can do, then you can start to see that you actually have impact on your environment and on your world. You may not be able to change the world, but you certainly can change your world. And you start with the people around you and you start with the things closest to you and begin to make smaller goals that you can achieve. And if you do that, you can start to focus on purpose. You can start to understand again what gives you meaning what gives you purpose connection passion cause spirituality all those things connect you to a purpose and when you're connected to a purpose hopelessness is muted so it's important that you keep purpose in front of you and when you feel hopeless you tend to look at things in big quantities like things will never change it's always this way it'll be this way forever So start to think in moments, start to think in small moments, in small situations, in things that can happen in the next hour. Start to look at things right in front of you. 
You know, the lie of things will never change is the actual truth that the li- that the world changes all the time. The lie, things never change, come on, nothing in this world stays the same forever. So whatever you're going through, it will not stay the same. That is a lie that things never change and you need to challenge that. But sometimes it's too much for us to see the big picture. We need to think in small increments and small moments. And finally, when you think about the fact that change takes time, you may not be as overwhelmed by it. It's steps, it's step by step, right? It's not just thinking in the next 15 minutes, it's also doing small things. Like I said, changing the goal line. If you're willing to accept that change takes time, then your sense of hopelessness will start to decrease. When we lose hope, we lose our future. We lose a sense of purpose and then we become lost. So I encourage you this day, if you're feeling hopelessness, start to look at what is truth and begin to surround yourself with goals and moments and people that you can influence and know that there is change coming, that it is possible for you to impact your world, that you do matter, that you have a purpose and that everybody is needed to bring that together to see change in our world. God bless you all. Have a great week, and we'll talk to you next week. Thank you for listening to Master Your Mindset Radio. Before you go, if you want to be part of a free online community of like-minded individuals for support, resources, and inspiration as you conquer your limiting beliefs and pursue your purpose, go to elizabethnader.com slash community. That's elizabethnader.com slash community. Or search for Master Your Mindset Academy private group on Facebook. Looking forward to seeing you online.